Hi, my name is Del Warren, Vice President of the Kegel Training Center. All right, now that we've talked about the stance, it's time to get the ball into the swing. And over, the, over time at the training center, we see more and more people, uh, because of a bad stance, they have to make compensations when getting the ball into the swing. So some fundamentals in this area. Number one, as you can see, I'm on the laser line, which is the line of play. And we want to place the ball not to the right or not to the left. We want to place the ball in front of our right leg. Because one of the fundamentals of great players that we've seen on video is that the ball will go through the right leg or replace the right leg on the forward swing and on the return swing, all right? So in order for the body to react a certain way and to keep us on the line of play, we want that, we want that ball placement to be in front of the right leg. And now if, we turn, if I turn 90 degrees, the length of the push away or the length of the ball placement is critical as well. What we don't want to see is this, okay? And we don't want to see this. We want to see something in between, all right? Which means the elbow is going to move away from the body, somewhere between four to eight inches, and we want to see more of a rounded shape. And that's going to help you with rhythm and getting the ball into the swing in a consistent manner, all right? And then the other thing we want to see here is, um, again, we want to see the weight of the ball um, to be more in the center of the hand as opposed to the outside of the hand. Many times we see the ball starting too close to the center of the body and the wrist is cocked in this manner and the, and the player's trying to hook the ball. Well, what happens is the push away ends up going to the right to get around the body and the thumb ends up turning down, which helps cause the ball to go behind the back. So getting the weight more around the ring finger or the center of the hand with no wrist cock it's going to allow that ball to roll more. You're, you will actually have a stronger wrist position and the thumb timing will be quicker simply because of where I put the weight in the hand. All right. So I hope this, um, this clears some things up. I hope this kind of makes some sense. Experiment with it a little bit. Use your, use your camera and your coach to kind of get it down and customize it for yourself. And we'll see you soon.